if there's anybody there. I'm just trying to find myself. Here we go. Hey, Karen. Oh, I'm frozen. There we go. hear myself because my voice is loud enough as it is <laughs> welcome everybody hey Barb hey Nicole hey Trisha good morning Trisha good evening everybody else <laughs> hey Melissa nice to see you a fellow Aussie I love it when I get fellow Aussies in these lives ah. all right I'm gonna show you well, I'm going to show you two cards. We're kind of going to make these cards today, but not exactly. <laughs> not, not exactly. Um, but yeah, something like this. Something vaguely along these lines is what we're going to do today. I made these yesterday in preparation for the class today. <clears throat> because the reason I did these is because... The other day when I did this card in the last live, um, I mentioned that my favourite way of using zigs was to emboss and then scribble and then just spray the heck out of it with water. And no, I didn't make the cupcakes with lemon buttercream. I've been a little bit busy and yeah, just lots of reasons why not, but yeah, I'll get to it eventually. Um, but anyway, um, I actually had somebody message me and say, I don't know what you mean by scribbling and spraying with water. So we're going to scribble and spray with water today. Um, now I'm going to make cards a bit like this, but th that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to show how I made these panels. Um, hey Debbie, nice to see that you caught us on time. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make these panels. Yesterday, uh, when I made these, I was in the mood for bright and cheerful and colourful. Today, I'm more in the mood for, I think, slightly more restful colours, I think. I'm just, these, these colours today are just screaming in my face and I'm, um, yeah, not in the mood to be screamed at in my face today. I'm sorry. So I shouldn't be sorry. I shouldn't apologize for not wanting to be screamed at in the face, especially by colors. Um, so anyway, we're going to do this panel and the way I'm going to do this, you might not even recognize this stamp that I've used. Hey Lenny, nice to see you. Um, but it is this stamp from the October release at Picket Fence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's just do it actually, I'm going to take my Misty <clears throat> and I'm going to take my stamp. Hey Diane, nice to see you. And I apologise if I'm sniffing but oh, hay fever. Oh. It's funny, everybody in America is complaining about their allergies at the moment and obviously different kind of allergies because you guys are going into autumn and we're smack bang in the middle of spring. Wow, where on earth is everybody gone? There we go. Sorry, I touched my computer screen and um, it's a touch screen. <laughs> I lost everybody for a minute. Okay, so what I have here, if I can get the magnet loose, um, the other day, with the other card that I did, I used Fabriano watercolour paper. And again, if you were there for that video, you would have seen that when I coloured it in and then moved and coloured in the um, red bits of the poinsettia, hey Lydia, nice to see you, hey Amanda, um, and then I moved it with the water, some of the colour sort of grabbed on to the watercolour paper and didn't move and I said at the time with this card it doesn't matter because you won't see it and you don't see it here um, but with the technique that I'm doing today I'm going to be using Canson 
Monsval medium cold press watercolour paper in 300 GSM. Um, I just find for this particular technique, um, the colours move a little bit better. That's just my opinion. Um, <laughs> there, there will be cupcakes, but not, not today. Not today. Maybe, maybe this afternoon if I feel like it. But uh, I think I'll leave it. You know what? I'm going to leave it until the weekend because... Dun, dun, dun! Melbourne is coming out of lockdown on Friday. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. For those of you who don't know, Melbourne holds the worldwide record for the most days in lockdown. Um, and we're coming out of lockdown. And oh, my God. I can go and get a haircut. So, yeah, I might leave the cupcakes for... Um, the weekend where possibly I might actually be able to see my sister and my brother and their kids and my brother-in-law and that might be exciting. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm just, I just picked a random spot on this paper to stamp my first one. Yeah, and your kid's back at school. I bet they're so excited to head back to school, Melissa. Um, all right, I'm just stamping with Versamark um, embossing ink. And I'm looking for my white embossing powder. Here it is. And I'm using Hero Arts White embossing powder. By the way, I don't think I'm going to cover this entire panel. I just grabbed it and started stamping. Um, yeah, with lockdown. I didn't even stamp it. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Obviously, I didn't sleep well last night because I just inked up the stamp and then put the embossing powder onto the cardstock. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's actually stamp it. That might work. Oh. Obviously, it's going to be one of those days. Now let's put... Actually, no, I'm not going to put embossing powder on it yet. And I've just poured embossing powder all over the floor. I'm doing so well today, guys. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm just going to have to vacuum up the floor later on because it's literally everywhere. Oh, my God. I wanted to ink it up again because, yeah, but it's just this is just me. This is just a normal day in the craft room for me. But I try not to do it on international uh, video. <sighs> but I just did. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so I've double stamped it. Because, and the reason I wanted, wanted to double stamp it is that this is watercolour paper and it is a bit textured so I'm just going to because I'm gonna make an absolute mess if I don't get some of this embossing powder up I'm just brushing some of that up and dumping it on Yeah, it's all good. What do we say, Lydia? Perfection is for who? Perfection is certainly not for me. Alright. More embossing powder. <sighs> Seriously, guys, I do actually know how to make cards. You wouldn't believe it by looking at me. <laughs> no, <laughs> cool new way to emboss. Yeah, I'm getting embossing powder all over my jeans and all over the floor. Oh, dumped. Once I actually dumped an entire tub of embossing powder in my lap. Lisa didn't actually dump all of it. I just dumped most of it. 
in my lap today. All right, I'm just gonna neaten that up. <laughs> And then I'm going to fold that over because I'm going to, I need it to stay out because I'm going to be using it again, but I'm going to emboss, sorry for the noise. What Lydia, you'd have to move house if you spilled the embossing powder everywhere. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, we've got a very good vacuum cleaner. We um, just recently bought a cordless vacuum cleaner, one of those stick ones. And it's just fabulous compared to our old one because our old one is an inbuilt vacuum cleaner that is as old as, a ha as old as this house which is 40 something years old 44 I think years old and it just wasn't doing oh don't worry I'll clean it up it'll get cleaned up it's all good alright It's taking a while. Anyway, I am going to do this a couple of times because the point is to try and make patterned paper. Now, I don't know how well you can see that on the screen. You can probably see a little bit of it shining, but I'm going to stamp again and I want to try and get it off the edge a bit. And I'm going to just dunk it in my water. Not that I have brand new clean water in my little mug because I'm going to use it. I'm just I just wet my scrubby tool and wipe that off. Oh. Now I'm just going to try to sort of nestle them together as close as I can. And yeah, Karen's just linked that this um, stamp set also comes with a matching die and I should have done if I had thought about it carefully before I did this was actually just die cut that die out of just some coloured cardstock and then I could have used it to sort of help me figure out where I was going to stamp the next one but I didn't think about that in advance, so I'm not. Okay, that's that one. Oops, I'm always doing that. Um, now I'm gonna do another one. Up. The reason I'm cleaning it off in between is because when I position it the next time. If I don't get it exactly where I wanted it, um, I would probably leave some ink residue where I don't want it. And then the embossing powder will stick where I don't want it to. Uh, I'm going to do probably another, I don't know, two or possibly three of these. Um, 
in various different places and then I might just go around the edge and I'll show you how I'll go around the edge to catch the little bits around the edge and I did it again with the magnets right so now I've got one down here that I stamped just picking off the excess and one up here that I stamped, which I didn't get all the powder in here. There we go, that's better. <sighs> Messy craft day today. And I haven't even started with the ink yet. Oh, what is this craft room going to look like when I even start with the ink? Okay, I'm just trying to read some comments. Yeah. Can somebody tell me, can you hear hear me clearly enough if I talk while I'm heat embossing? Or is this heat tool a bit too loud? Oh, good. Okay. So, what I was going to say is when I got this stamp, of course, my immediate thought was, oh, colour it in, it's gorgeous. And um, because of international postage at the moment, um, mine took a little bit longer to get to me. Um, so, when I actually looked at what the other design team members had done, Everybody had coloured it and the colouring is absolutely stunning and I always feel a little bit inadequate when I look at other people's <laughs> colouring um, of flowers but I do my best and I have fun and that's the point but I thought what else could I do with this stamp that is not just colouring whether it be Copic colouring or water colouring or whatever what could I do that is a little bit different and so that's why I thought we'll try some emboss resist. So that's what we're doing today. And so many people, this is me drying off the stamp when I can't be bothered getting my cloth out. Um, so many people ask me when I do this technique, I've done this technique so many times. Thanks, Amanda. Um, they're like, I don't know what you mean by just spray. So I'm going to show you because they don't believe me when I say I scribble and I spray. Because exactly what I do, I scribble and then I spray it all over the place with... See, this is, can you see the edge here? Can you see the stamping edge? That's because this Versamark ink pad is embarrassingly grey. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but also I've used, um, I have used black ink on this stamp. And I'm not taking great care to clean it super duper clean uh, I think that'll do um, um, um. trying to find places to put my magnets that's not actually on top of what I've just stamped with ink and not embossed yet oh these magnets are going to they just don't like me today honestly Honestly, all, all of my craft supplies don't like me today. It's not my day. Um, yeah, I actually... <laughs> I have a brand new Versamark ink pad that's in its wrapper, still just sitting in front of me up here. I'm scared to open it and compare because 
I think I would be horrified with myself. But honestly, when you're the only time this would be an issue of having like bits of grey on your um oh Lenny. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah, the only problem with having bits of grey is if you're going to clear emboss it. And I'm not clear embossing. I'm white embossing. It's an opaque um, embossing powder. So it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yes, Amy, ha has it, anybody, I bet you, lots of people have had these little magnets clipped together and give you a blood blister by clipping on a bit of your skin. Happens to me more frequently than I would care to admit, but I'm admitting it to you right now. See, look how grey that is because of this. Doesn't matter because it won't be seen because opaque embossing. I don't know how well I've stamped that one. <sighs> oh no, it's all good. It's all good. No more, more. Now, I think I'm just going to do. Hmm. I think the last few bits I'm just going to not use the Misty. And use a technique that I've seen. Um, Lydia do in her live videos every day which is it seems to be a really great sa time saving see watch this it's grey but then when I emboss the grey just disappears as the white embossing powder melts because the white embossing powder is opaque So that's the thing, if I had been super fussy and thought, oh no, I have to re-stamp that because it's all grey and how embarrassing and um, it won't look good, um, it looks perfectly fine. You can't even see the grey anymore, can you? It's just completely gone. Um, Alright, so on to... Oops, I'm missing some... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> You don't have grey hair, you have glitter in your hair. Alright, so I can see that there's stuff missing here. So, I am just going to... Yes, I am inking up... Actually, no, the back of, because I've spilt embossing powder everywhere, the back of this stamp is not incredibly sticky. It's not sticky enough to hold onto my hand. So I'm just going to grab it onto an acrylic block. It's hanging off the edge of the acrylic block. I don't care. Because I'm only going to be stamping the edge here. Yeah, grey again, but I don't care. And then I want a bit in there. A bit there. And a bit of the leafy bit in there. Right. And then. That will be, and you might be thinking, oh, geez, she's taking so long doing all this embossing. But then the next bit is really quick. So it's all good. All right. Have I got all of that covered? Yes, I have. I nearly knocked the embossing powder on the floor again.
And don't worry, I was saying the other day that I needed to order some more gold embossing powder from Hero Arts, but I have a stock of white embossing powder, so I'm not going to run out anytime soon of the white embossing powder. So you don't need to send out the guards. Hey, Kelly! I'm sorry, it's just because I've got the heat chill going, Linda. I will be stopping with the heat chill in a minute. I will be going back to it a bit later on. But, yeah, I'm trying to talk a little bit loud over the heat chill. All right. All right, let me just get this into there. And... Ah, there's the lid. I thought for a minute, oh god, how, oh, I lost the lid as well. Jeez. Alright, so here comes the bit where yesterday on these cards that I showed you before, so on these ones, these were the colours that I used. Okay. As I said, today is not a day for me to be using bright colors we've shown that with how clumsy i am being so i need to go with slightly more muted more elegant more simple colors i think um i'll go with one and i might actually go with that orange that i had i'm gonna go with these colors just a little bit more. Hmm. Let me just move over so I'm not off the screen. Okay, so as I said, scribble and spray. So you thought I was kidding, didn't you? Nope, not kidding at all. Not kidding, not kidding. Scribble and spray. I might leave this for the next round because there will be at least two rounds of this. Yeah, Kathy, anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. Now, I've got my spray bottle. I'm holding it about a hand span above that, that far above and I'm spraying all over with lots of water. Now I am taking a brush, doesn't matter what brush it is, I could use this brush i could use that brush doesn't i don't care what kind of brush it is and i'm just gonna spread it around a bit just spread it around i'm not i'm not even looking to see where the pattern is where the flowers are where the leaves are i don't care where the leaves are where the flowers are Okay. Oh no no no! I didn't learn this technique from Lydia. I learnt the holding the stamp in my hand bit from Lydia. But then it didn't stick to my hand, so I had to put it onto an acrylic block. And it didn't stick to my hand because it had embossing powder all over the back of it. Because I'm a doofus. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so I'm just going to hold it down in the middle and heat tool again. I apologize for the noise. I am going to make this more intense than it is now. Um, but not heaps. I quite like the soft, paley look. Sorry, Facebook keeps covering up the comments with um, 
people are messaging me and all the messages keep coming up on top of your comments oh. no absolutely there is absolutely nothing wrong with soft pastels too and what I might I might just add hmm, I'm debating with myself I might add a very 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 soft green because I love pink with green especially soft green like one of these I might use that one but I will be very specific about where I put the green all right now if I'd done this with just watercolors and just sort of slapped on some watercolors I could go straight back over again with more intense watercolors but because I'm using zig markers I'm trying to get it mostly dry before I go in yeah I will be very careful with the green because I don't want it to mix with the pink because then I'll get bleh um, but I'm just going to add so what I want to try and do is have mostly pink and orange on the flowers and mostly the yellow and orange and some green on the leaves in the background but for the first layer that's that's always what I do just scribble 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 um but I didn't want to go in with the zigs while my cardstock was still wet 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 because um the marker will just suck up the water rather than putting down pigment um a hundred wrens listening to my life lovely 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 all right so all i'm going to do now is i'm going to go okay there's pink there let's add some more 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 let's add some more let's add some more and i'm just intensifying where the colors already are a little bit not heaps and, it, and you can see i'm not taking care i don't care if i go outside the lines but i'm just sort of I'm not trying to add yellow on top of pink. I'm not trying to add pink on top of orange. I'm just sort of intensifying the colours where they already are. Uh, ish. <laughs> Alright, I need some more pink on that one. Different kind of pink. A more salmon-y pink, this one. Um, and I'm going to do the green last. Um, okay. What have we got? So I'm trying to... Am I using regular colour? This is watercolour paper. This is Canson Montval Cold Press. So it does have a little bit of texture to it. So that's why I added Versamark twice before I added my embossing powder because sometimes if you just stamp it once you can get a sort of mottled sort of um, effect and not get the the image coming out really well on um, textured cardstock sorry heat tool again yeah I do love this I'm much preferring yesterday I was in the mood for bright colors and in your face loud colors this this color scheme is speaking to me a lot better today <laughs> a lot better today and because I did yesterday when I made the other two cards that I showed you before I only made a panel that was the same size as a card front because I already had it cut but today I've done a much larger panel I reckon I'll get a mini slimline out of this. I just thought of that. Ooh. I might make a mini slimline. Hmm. That's a thought. 
feel I have a similar cloud based cut already. I think I do. Um, now, I'm starting to second guess my thoughts of adding green. Let's have a vote. Do you want green or no green? Tell me, please. Green or no green? I could get too many slim lines, but I want to do different things. A little green, no green. Green, no green. <laughs> no green. You're not helping people. <laughs> it's just as many votes for green as for no green. It is a bit risky. <laughs> Actually, Lydia, you're exactly right. It's Nicole's stamp. I'm going to add some green because it's Nicole. But I'm going to... This is... This one's sort of the palest green. And what I might do is, instead of spraying it all over, I might be a bit more careful about the green. And I'll just add it in a few little bits. Not to every leaf. Just to some of them. And I will just... Yeah, I think that's looking pretty. Looking pretty. I think it would have worked either way, without the green or with the green, but... I mean, it's... It's Picker Fence Studios. We're all about the green at Picker Fence Studios. Am I right or am I right? All about the green. I'm just trying to make sure I'm only colouring in leaves and not flowers. I'm holding it up to make sure I can see. Because with this kind of panel, as I've not coloured in the flowers really specifically, sometimes a bit hard to figure out where the leaves are and where the flowers are. So I'm just spreading it within the leaves themselves. I haven't added very much water to my brush, but you can also see that depending on where the leaf was and what the colour was underneath the leaf, some of the leaves are turning out a little bit more olivey olive green because they're mixing a bit with the pink um, or the orange underneath them so I'm getting a little bit of variation of the green which is a good thing it's a good thing yeah I'm happy with the green I am happy with the green I don't think I'm gonna add any more all right okay I think that's my panel done. And I do, I love the combination of pink and green. It's one of my favourite, and, and for me, being a blue all the way and rainbow all the things kind of girl, um, pink and green is one of my favourite colour combinations. Um, but I also like pink and orange as well. <laughs> so... See, now I'm thinking I might have to make this panel again and just make the pink and orange and just see what it looks like. All right, so what did I say? I said I'm going to do a slim line. So I'm pulling out my brand new slim line die cutting system set. This is the mini slim line stitched and scalloped rectangles die cutting system. And this one... So a slimline die, sorry, slimline card, according to Pick a Pen Studios, is, let me just, I've got, a, this is a slimline card that was already cut. So that's three and a half by eight and a half inches. I'm just going to mark six on here. Because my paper trim doesn't go up to six. So it'll be hanging off the edge. Oh, 
All right, so I have my card base. And this die cuts the same size as a card base with the scallop edge. I'm going to make my panel a little bit smaller than the card base because I've got to have a little bit of white space, even if it's just a border around the edge. Yeah, all of it's on the back. All the sizes. So I'm going to use the three and a quarter by five and three quarter inch die. So this is why never throw out the packaging. What I do, I'll show you. I haven't got it for this one yet because it's brand new. But here, for example, is one of the older, this is a scallop frame dies, slim on die for the system. And I just put it in a plastic sheet protector with the packaging. Because this packaging that comes with it, I mean, if you're anything like me, it gets torn at the bottom and then things leak out and fall out the side and I make a mess. But besides which, I'm going to keep this to make um, edge to edge shaker cuts. Not today, but in the future. All right, so I'm going to, that looks nice. Just gonna slice this off, not being super careful about it. And I'm gonna send that through my die cutting machine. Oops. I'm trying to be super careful because I've made so many mistakes today. I don't want to stuff up my die cutting. And because I did that yesterday and die cut things and things just slipped. And all right. Oh, it's an effort. <laughs> it's an effort. All right, perfect. So that can go over there. And that's gonna go in there. I'm gonna stick that down right now. It's time, 10.42. Oh, I'm easily gonna get, I was thinking, oh, I'm running too late. I don't wanna go too far over now. I know Nicole said I don't have to stick to an hour if I don't want to, but I prefer to. I'm just going to my markings where I didn't cut exactly on the line. Erase them. All right, so that's one. For the other one, I so the cards that I made yesterday. I'll just remind you again for those of you who came in late. These are the cards that I made yesterday which I decided to go bright and bold and brassy with these colours, just in your face colours. Um, keeping in mind that the panel that I cut these down from was only four and a quarter by five and a half. So I cut that out and I cut, I just, that was the leftover, so I just popped it on. Um, I think today we might use the heart because we've got soft, beautiful colours. I think, I think, I think. Alright, um, hmm. I'm just trying to get a nice placement of, there we go, I think there. I want to get some of the green leaves in and a little bit of sort of empty space and yeah that looks good and because I'm petrified that I'm going to stuff it up I'm actually going to stick it down I I'm terrible when it comes to sticking my dies down but yeah too many mistakes already today uh, Okie doke. Alright, so there's that. Yeah. Alright, and I need a card 
base for that. Let's pull out the card base. Oh, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? I'm so glad that I went with a different colour scheme today. Um, Alright. I'm just going to pop that there. Now, what am I going to do with the rest? I think... I think I'm going to cut, is that the same width as a cut? I can't remember what size it was that I cut. No, it's not the same. That'd go across. But it's a bit thin. Mm, what could I do? I could... Where's my... Oh, my thingy is... Sorry, I'm just thinking... How could I get a couple more cards out of this? And I thought, oh, a nice big panel across the width of a card would be nice, but I was thinking a wider panel than that. But I just had a thought. I just had a thought. Hmm. I know. Yes, I had a thought. It hurt. It hurts for when I think too hard. What I thought was... I could, hmm, I could cut just this border here and use that maybe along the top and bottom of that banner. And I'm thinking pale pink. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do a shaker today. Not... Ugh, no. Honestly, the amount of stuff that I've spilled on the floor, if I tried to make a shaker, there would be sequins all over this room today. So, not going to do a shaker today. Alright, I'm just going to grab out some pale pink cardstock. Where's my pale pink cardstock? I can only see in your face pink cardstock right now. Um, that looks pale enough. Yep. Yeah, it could go white. I don't think green. Um, I was thinking pink. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the pink. Um, just for the sake of... Do I have? Oh, I don't have oh, racks. Because that would have been a really good idea, Nicole. Having Because I could have put pink prom night onto white cardstock, let it dry, and then die cut it. The only paper glazes, paper glitzes, sorry, that I've already got pieces of cardstock already done and ready to go are not pink. And none of, none of those colours is going to go with what I've got today. So, yeah, pink prom night would have been... A really good idea but given the time I have and the fact that the I'd need to let the paper glitz dry on the cardstock I don't think I'm gonna go with that today not today but it would be a great idea uh, oh. Oops, and it didn't actually cut all the way through, but that doesn't matter because I'm only going to use part of it. It's just because I didn't place it in my die cutting machine properly. But that's just on me. Okay. So, I need blue, oops, no, I don't want that in, I want this in, I'm going to cut off 
going to cut off this end because there's more empty space on that end. Okay, maybe it this way. Sorry, I'm so indecisive because... Now guys, I was just thinking about this. Please tell me. It seems like every video I do for these 7 in 7 events, I... And that's crooked. Every one I do, I was like, okay, I had this idea for a card, but I'm going to do it different this time. Um, would you actually prefer if I just said, here's a card, I'm going to show you how to make it and make it exactly the same? Or are you happy with me just faffing along, going, oh, maybe I should do this, or I think I'll change the colours, or hmm, what could I do on this? Because, I mean, that's my normal card making style, is just, oh... What could I do with this now? That didn't go as I planned. Hmm, what can I do with it? Um, but I understand if you would prefer me to just go, look, I made this card. Let me show you how I did it. So please tell me. Okay. So that's and I've still got this which looks like it would yeah perfectly fit that one you like seeing me my thinking process of oh no that went wrong <laughs> What can I do with it now? <laughs> oh, hey, Letitia, nice to see you. Welcome to the craziness that is this video. Nothing has worked today. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome to join in on our randomness. All right, last run through the die cutting machine. Oops, just dropped it dropped it okay so one more card base they can go in there they can go in there and this is gonna go that way don't ask me why I just turn it and go yeah that looks better I don't know why it looks better it just I don't know, something about it. And now I probably go, no, a different way. Let me try. Yeah, that way. That's the way I had it, wasn't it? Yep. Right. So, now I have. What's the time? 10.53. Oh, I want to get a move on. So I have three, four cards. Mostly ready to go, but I need some sentiments. So let's go back to all right. I'm trying to read comments because I've missed quite a few. Uh, you like seeing me work it through, you like different colorways. I have more fun changing it up. You like seeing the process, making it up. Okay, so it seems like you quite enjoy my randomness and like chaos that's going on here. So thank you for that. <laughs> All right, all I'm gonna do now is, where did I put my misty? I'm looking for my misty and I cannot for the life of me sit there it is I put it on the floor next to the drawer and then I opened a drawer and the drawer was um, hiding it all right so I have some hero arts black cardstock I'm gonna completely cover it in 
powder tool because I'm going to do more white embossing. Yes, I am a glutton for punishment. We'll see if I spill any more embossing powder. Don't hold your breath. I think the answer will be yes. Um, okay, so people like seeing my thinking process and my randomness. And Okay, just it makes you feel normal. <laughs> Okay, yes, I agree. Pick a Fence has the best customer service. Yep. Chaos is good. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Oops, somebody's at the door. Somebody's at the door in the doorbell. Oh, it's the guy who mowed the lawn. I'm just going to put them all down here. And then we'll see what we want to use. Once we've stamped and embossed them. Oh, Miss Gloria, stay my sweet. A little Hello note, I think. That's I. I love making Hello cards and sending out cards that just say Hello. Oops, making a mess. All right. So again, with the dirty Versamark ink pad. And you like my accent. I love listening to Karen. Oh, it's such. Ah, oh, I want to say I don't know how to describe your accent, but I love listening to it. It's elegant, I think. I would describe it as. Yes, I love. When, <laughs> you want me to say zig? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what the fascination exactly Jane what accent we don't have an accent you guys have got an accent <laughs> alright yet again I am going to stamp twice because especially with sentiments I have a horror of having sentiments that are not legible so if I'm embossing them that's why I particularly like um ooh, my screen went weird then I particularly like white embossed sentiments on black cardstock. They make me happy because the contrast makes them super legible. Um, and I hate when I see a card and I have to like grab it and go, what does that say? <laughs> it's just not good. All right, that will do. Versa mark away. If you are somebody who says prayers, please say a prayer to me right now as I pull out the embossing pad one more time. Because, oh, just hold your breath. Just, oops, no, there's a bit there on the celebrate that needs a bit of extra love. There we go. One of the good things about embossing, white embossing on a black cardstock is if you miss a bit, you can just, <laughs> dear embossing powder gods, if you miss a bit, you can just go over it with a white gel pen and nobody will ever know except for the people watching the video that you say it in. But you're not going to tell anybody, are you? No. No. Alright. I'm just going to... Oh, I've got a whole bit of embossing powder on the back, but that doesn't matter. I'm just... There's a couple of little bits of stray embossing powder that I'm going to get rid of while I can see them. Although I'm not that overly concerned with them. Sorry for the heat tool. This will be the last time I use the heat tool. This has been very heat tool um, intensive uh, series of cards today, hasn't it? Lots and lots of heat tool. Sorry about that. It is a pretty font. I love it. This font is the same font that is in all the fancy sentiments um, stamps and matching dies that Picket Fence has and I 
just adore them. But I'm so, I was so happy when I saw this stamp because all, most of the other fancy sentiments in their sets, they're on, a, the sentiments are on a single line. So it's one line of text. So I might just say, um, happy, or I might say happy birthday, or I might say Merry Christmas, or whatever it says, but it's on one line. But in this stamp set, this watercolor flowers, watercolor roses, sorry, stamp set, um, yeah, there's either two or three lines to the sentiment. Does this one have matching dyes? I'm not using the, so I'm using the one, the watercolor roses one. So I'm using the sentiments from Watercolour Roses, but there is a new, there's a new stamp set, which is the Fancy Friendship Sentiments. As you can see, they're all the same as the other ones that are just on a single line, and they all come with matching dice. But I'm using these ones from the Watercolour Roses set, which don't come with there is a, a die that matches the roses the rose sort of bouquet but not the sentiments so what I'm going to do is one of my favorite techniques which is I'm going to fussy cut the sentiments but I'm just starting myself off with some straight lines Um, on the top and on the bottom of the sentiments that's going to help me when I come to fussy cut the rest. A bit there, and a bit there, and a bit there, and a bit there. And you might think, what on earth is she doing? I can't see what she's doing. Don't worry, it'll all make sense when I start actually cutting these out with my scissors where the straight lines are. But I can show you on the ones that I did yesterday so that you can see what I mean. So can you see what I mean there? So I just, I'm fussy cutting around the edges, but um, some of the bits are already cut with a straight line, so it makes it a little bit easier. You are very welcome to steal it, Kelly. Go for your life. It's one of my favorite ways to cut out a sentiment. When I don't have dyes, that is. When I have dyes, it's dyes all the way. Alright, so I'm just going to cut. Alright. You know, somebody should do a tally of how many times in a video I say all right because I reckon I say all right every 30 seconds I'm very um <laughs> I'm a little bit self-conscious about it because um and if Trisha's I don't know if Trisha's still here but if Trisha is still here she'd notice when I just cut out a little bit in the middle of that one just because, why not? Um, I used to be a teacher in a previous... See, this one didn't emboss properly, so I'm just going to go over it with my white gel pen and the bits that need a little bit of extra love. That'll do. Um, yeah, I used to be a teacher. And I remember when I was on teaching, making a drinking game. o'clock in the morning Kelly 
Don't make it a drinking game. <laughs> oh no. Um, when I was a, a student teacher and I did teaching rounds at a local school, and it was a lovely school, it was a private girls school. Anyway, I one of the very, very first classes that I took for myself rather than just observing or helping out or just taking like five minutes of the class or whatever um, on teaching rounds, the, um, my mentor, who was just fabulous, she was awesome, um, she just sat at the back of the classroom, just, she was taking notes the whole time and I was like, oh my God, she's writing all the time. What on earth is she why am I doing that badly? And um, <laughs> when I got to the end of the class, she said, because um, I asked her, oh, you, you seem to be taking a lot of notes there. What, what was it that I was doing that was wrong? And she said, oh, no, you, overall your teaching was great. What I was doing was taking a tally of how many times you said, okay, In a 50 minute class, in a 50 minute class, I kid you not, I said okay 150 times. 150 times. Oh my god. Just, just ridiculous. That's just so ridiculous. But. Anyway, okay, I think I see, I don't see that there's a problem with saying it. It's, I mean, if as soon as you notice it, it becomes a problem. But unless somebody points it out to you, most people wouldn't even notice, I don't think. However, I think people might notice if you said okay 150 times in 50 minutes, quite seriously. But I know that I still did it right up into my... Because I used to teach up until recently. I taught at a university. And I know, I know for a fact that I would say, okay, and all right. Way too much. Way too much. Anyway... So much for story time of what Michelle did in a previous life. <laughs> oh dear. I wonder how many ex-teachers there are that are also card makers. I reckon there's probably a lot of us. There's probably a lot of us. Hey Trisha, I'm glad you're still here. Trisha, can you believe we're going to be able to actually have a catch-up next week if we want to? Oh my god. So exciting. So exciting. I have some cookbooks of some of my ex-workmates that I got from my choir um, in February. And I still haven't given them to them because I haven't seen them because we haven't been allowed to. Um, and I'll finally get to actually see them. Okay, now, all the fussy cutting done. <sighs> Portrait landscape. Hmm, let me just figure out what sentiments are going to go with which card first. The smaller ones. No, forever and always with the heart. Yeah, a little note. Uh, it's a good day to be happy. And hope you feel beautiful. I think that'll do. And we'll leave the we have come to celebrate because that was the one that didn't emboss very well. So we'll leave that for another time, I think. All right. So, yeah, I know Lydia and you are both retired teachers. But I reckon it would be a fairly common um, ex-profession 
the card makers. I don't know. I know there's a lot of science nerds because I fit into the category of teacher and science nerd. Um, and there are plenty of science nerds out there in the crafting community. Okay, so I'm just using Stampin' Up! Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, which I really like that they now come in two different sizes. And they also come in black. I didn't bother with the black because it's going on to the white background. So I'm just taking off all of the backing sheets. So I didn't bother with the black ones today. But it is... Well, I, yeah, Kathy, I knew that... I had enough background for four cards, so I thought, oh, I may as well just do all sentiments at once. Um, because they're all great sentiments. I know that I'll use them at some stage or other. Um, because all of these, uh, it's a good day to be happy. Hope you feel beautiful today. I love that sentiment. Thank you for doing that sentiment. Um, Nicole, I absolutely adore that one. Forever and always would make a really good engagement card, would make a really good wedding card. A little hello note. Where am I going to do that one? Oop. My video stopped. No, there we are. Um, I think I'm going to do it smack in the middle. So that's two done. Now I need bigger foam adhesive for this one. I'm stuck. Yeah, so I just thought, well, why not just do them all together at the same time? Save time. saying Trisha remember not being told not to say um yeah I sometimes think that oops that one needs to be cut down I sometimes think that if you don't say um or ah uh, or all right or okay or any of those things at all it sounds very rehearsed um, because people do say those things um, in normal conversation I mean I'm saying it all the time I'm saying um all the time um, in normal conversation and when you're watching like a TV show they never say um ever and it just you can tell that it, it sounds rehearsed so I don't think there's much of a problem with having interjections in your speech however there's so many All right. sorry if you can hear the phone from next door in the kitchen my my parents are um they always have this the uh, phone on speakerphone always 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 drives me mental <laughs> anyway so if you can hear a conversation going in the background it's just my dad on the phone with one of his mates okay now Oh god, I've gone so over the hour. I do apologize, but there is still one more step to go because there's no way I can finish these cards without some sequins. I just it, it has to happen. It's it's compulsory. So sorry about that, but not sorry. I'm going to use my absolute favourite sequins on all of them. <laughs> the sentiment are upside down. Jeez. And they are iridescent moonshine. So there's my blue. That's my blue. There's my blue. Pop a 
whole lot of them out. Um, what are you saying, Trisha? Let me read it. Remember the time you threw me a deep and had me head down to the flower pack with no warning or notes, my internal pack of doom thrown at me. Yeah. Yeah, but it's flowers and you're a botanist and you did an excellent job. <sighs> natural <laughs> don't worry about it and then I mean everybody has to do it for the first time once don't you and honestly talking about flowers you're gonna do a better job at it than me ask me to talk about genetics or animals anytime flowers not so much oh I'm making it see it on my day Look at this, it's just dripping. Oh no. It is absolutely not my day. I should have foreseen this coming, shouldn't I? I don't know what it is about this room, but it doesn't matter what brand of liquid glue I use this this rubbish happens with every single brand that I've ever used of liquid glue oh. and I'm just I usually I take forever to decide where are my sequins going to go but because I'm taking so so long on these cards today. I'm just reverting to my standard three below, two above. And that's just going to have to do for all of them. Because just that's what that's what's going to happen. That's that's what's going to happen. Uh, I know I'm missing comments right now. Oh no, Amy, you had to stop crafting. That's not fun. I think I might just do three on this one because it's just, there's a whole lot less on this card overall. So I think three will do it. So two below and one above rather than three and two. Okay, and last one. What am I going to do with this one? Sequin placement, Debbie. Honestly, with the vast majority of my cards, if it takes me half an hour to make a card, it takes me a good 20 minutes to decide where the sequins are going to go. And I'm not exaggerating there. It, it just takes me ages so I just when when I can't I, when I just can't even I just revert to three below two above on an angle like this and because I don't want to keep you um, from well for those of you in America I don't want to keep you from your dinner and for those of you in Australia I don't want to keep you from your morning tea or your lunch um, because I've been waffling on here for an hour and 18 minutes. I nearly, I nearly, did you see that? I nearly dunked that card into the lump of glue and the puddle of glue. Oh, that would just be just oh, the perfect end to this disaster of a card making session. However, even though it was a disaster of a card making session and I've got the craft a math to clean up here, I'm quite happy with these cards. I'm actually more happy with these cards than with the cards that I made yesterday in preparation for this video. So this is good. This is a good thing. 
uh, I'm just putting the sequins away before I wipe up the glue and then we'll have a look at what I've actually come up with. Get rid of all this glue. Dry it off before I put the cards in it. And what do we have? We have <clears throat> four quite pretty cards. I'm quite happy with them. I am quite happy with them. Oh, no, you, it, there is a disaster. Oh, my God, you should see this desk. <laughs> and I've got to get the vacuum to get all the embossing powder out of the carpet. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well, I'm glad that you don't mind me just making stuff up as I go along with <laughs> these cards. I am glad that I added the green, though, to those few leaves. I'm very glad that I went with a different colour scheme today because even though these ones that I made yesterday are bright and cheerful, <sighs> too in your face for me today. Just another day, I'll look at, I'll look back at them and go, they're awesome. I love those colours, but today these colours are more my jam. Much more quiet and elegant, and I'm really happy with the scalloped edge. On this one because it makes the panel wider and that I don't know it just just my eye likes it better than just the thin banner ha <sighs> okay an hour and 21 minutes I do apologize for just being so long-winded it's just ridiculous anyway thank you so much to everybody for being with us today um, I hope you continue to come back each day for how many have we got left we've still got Erica and we've got Daniel and we've got another video from Nicole coming up this week. So um, definitely come back to see what those guys have got up their sleeves for you. Thank you very much for spending your evening slash morning with me. Um, and hopefully I'll see you for another 7 in 7 video next month. You would not believe I'm so excited by the new products coming out next month. But I'm still excited on this month's products. I'm just overly excitable. <laughs> but it's easy to be overly excitable with all the wonderful picket fence products that are coming out. So anyway, thank you everybody and I'll close off for today. Bye.